Hello, Happy Easter. Hi, David, Gavin, and Viola. I am Nona to you and also known as Aunt Lisa. Today is Sunday, April the 16th, 2017. I have a little Christmas message for you. And I'm going to read you a little poem called The Legend of the Dogwood Tree. But before I begin, I want to tell you that the dogwood tree is one of my favorite trees. And you may have heard this legend before, but I think this poem really puts it beautifully. This is something I learned as a child, and it has always stuck with me. So enjoy. The Legend of the Dogwood Tree When Christ was on earth, the dogwood tree grew to a towering size with a lovely hue. Its branches were strong and interwoven, and for Christ's cross, its timbers were chosen. Being distressed at the use of this wood, Christ made a promise which still holds good. Not ever again shall the dogwood grow to be large enough for such a tree, and so slender and twisted it shall always be, with cross-shaped blossoms for all to see. The petals shall have bloodstains marked in brown, and in the blossom's center a thorny crown. All who see it will think of me, nailed to a cross from the dogwood tree. Protected and cherished, this tree shall be a reflection to all of my agony. And I wanted to show you a picture of a dogwood flower. That is what a dogwood flower looks like. And I'll read the words again. It shall always be cross-shaped blossoms for all to see. The petals shall have blood stains marked in brown and the blossoms center a thorny crown. All who see it will think of me nailed to a cross from the dogwood tree. And you can see that in the flower, the blood stain, the pet, the crown of thorns in the middle. I always love that story, and I hope you like it too. I wish you a happy and wonderful season of the year. I love you. Bye.